What's up guys, it is Travis Brady here. So as you know, I am uh, doing these Q&A, answering all of your questions. And the reason why I'm doing it in uh, black and white is, well, it's kind of cool. So, <laughs> but no, one of the, one of the main reasons is uh, life is not black and white. You know, sometimes we think it's yes or no. There's actually 50 shades of gray. Right. Um, no, but really transformation is contrast. And the more that you understand contrast, it will help you become a better influencer, a better leader. It will answer a lot of the problems that you're coming up with in your life. And so this was a concept that I learned from my one of my coaches uh, years ago. And I really expanded upon it and really dove into it and took it um, much bigger uh, then I was really taught. So I'm so excited to share that with you. And I won't be able to explain everything um, about this concept, but you'll see in these videos how I really bring it to light. And so what I mean by contrast is up and down, left and right, mind and body, conscious and unconscious, yin and yang, male and female, failure and success, okay? Wrong and right, dark and light, right? There's so many, so much contrast in this world. And the more that we understand the contrast, the again, the better we will be as an influencer. And I know that it has literally opened so many doors and helped me find so many answers that uh, originally I wasn't aware of. But again, um, it's important to understand philosophies. And the reason why philosophies are, are so important is because they answer so many questions. They just answer so many questions. Uh, my wife, uh, Minky, you know, uh, she's an amazing graphical designer. And she was talking about the other day, because I, I was asking her, hey, how did you really learn all these things, right? As I was watching her like create this amazing masterpiece. And uh, she's like, no one taught me how to use this program. In fact, uh, her mom, is the one where she learned a lot, but she didn't learn uh, the exact steps to do. She essentially learned a philosophy, okay? And when she learned the philosophy, she automatically knew how to create design. She automatically knew, okay, how to make the changes, okay? And it was essentially showing her a philosophy, having her look at a, at a certain thing. And sometimes as human beings, is such as myself, we only like to look at certain things. So we kind of avoid those others, or sometimes we're just, we, we, we don't know what we don't know. And the most dangerous information is not the information that you don't know. The most dangerous information is the information that you think is true that is actually not true. Okay, that is the most dangerous information. And the reason why is because we're acting out on something that we believe is true. What do we believe? Whatever we believe, we do. Whatever we do, we have, right? Just a simple formula, be, do, have, right? That, that formula has changed my life. It's a, a concept and a philosophy I've applied to my coaching. And so when we look at the beliefs and we're believing something that is false, um, because we don't understand the contrast. We don't understand the other side. And that's all we've been exposed to, right? It's kind of like, uh, you know, someone being born in the other world, you know, they, they don't know uh, what exists. That's their, that's their reality, right? So they don't, they don't know this other world. They're not familiar with it or understand it, right? So they do what they, what they believe, right? And so the more we understand uh, the other side, the more powerful will we, we will become. And especially in today's age, you know, uh, we're, we're coming out of quarantine here and you know, it's been really interesting to see kind of the world just go whoop, right? We just kind of split our own sides. Some people are like, you gotta wear your mask every time you go out, we're all going to die. And then you have other people is like, what are you talking about, man? We've had diseases since the dawn of time. We're still here as human beings. And actually, you know what? We have more human beings than ever before. So I think if we got by those other ones, I think we can get by the other, okay? So you got those drastic sides. And so understanding it, what's the contrast of both sides? Understanding, you know, this left side, why should we be concerned? Okay, why should I be scared about this COVID? What, what is really COVID? 
right? What, what can it really do? And really understanding the that part of it, right? And then understanding the part of it, like, is that really what's going on? Or are we just sheep? Is it one sheep following the other, not realizing why one sheep is following another? We're just simply following what we've been told. Why are you wearing a mask? Well, my manager told me to wear a mask. Well, why is the manager telling everyone to wear masks? Well, because their district manager told them to wear a mask. Well, why is the district manager telling them to wear a mask? Is because that if they don't, they're gonna get fired and lose their position and they have a family to take care of, right? And so, you so there's a fear there's a fearful thing though so it's getting passed on down the spectrum and then at our level we're like wow i guess we need masks masks save us okay and i'm not um i'm not dissing the masks but i don't know maybe i am okay i personally think that it's uh it's a little ridiculous um, however, I'm always open to your opinion as always doesn't mean that I will always accept your opinion as truth. Okay. And I think that's the way that we need to be. And I can go on and on about this whole COVID thing, um, about everything and, uh, what's really going on at the higher levels. I just, I don't know, but here's the thing that we, I think can all agree on. Does it really change what you're going to do each day? Okay, does it change how you live your life? Does it change what you give to the world? And for most people, they get caught up in it, okay, get caught up all the bullshit, right? And it starts taking them away. And so really, um, again, coming back down to the purpose of the vid videos is just to share contrast, right? And I've sat down with one-on-one -on -one with literally like thousands of people I've presented to uh, probably at this point in my life, probably a million people. And it's been really interesting to understand humans. I, I love humans. I think they're so fascinating. And the more uh, I learn about people, the more I actually love them and, and see their true intentions. Because at the end of the day, I truly believe that you and everyone you know has true intentions. Now, your understanding how to implement that intention, mm, that's I think where we get caught up as human beings is we're only looking at one side of the contrast. We're only looking at one side of the coin, okay? And it's like going on a, a vacation and judging the, the hotel by whatever side that they happen to put you on when you open your door. It's like, dude, you're missing the other side of the equation, right? So when we have a 360 degree look at everything, right? We can see things that maybe our conscious mind was blocking from. That conscious mind tends to hold us back from pain and experiencing, but also it holds us back from our success as well. Okay, so because once we understand, and then we learn how to implement, right? The skill set. Okay, when we understand how to implement, now we're having a positive intention. Okay, and that's the purpose of these videos, okay, is to help you give your gift to the world, help influence more people, help create transformation and income, and essentially just live the life that you truly and utterly wanna live and have, like this earth is heaven. I, I believe that heaven is here on earth. I believe we can experience bliss and amazing experience of peace and fulfillment, okay, but it really, starts with what's our intention do we understand it are the things we don't see can we implement that okay and through implementing it will create an, a positive impact and i think those middle two is where we like to fight in society i think some of you listen to is like screw you travis i don't like your beliefs on this COVID. that's totally fine okay your beliefs are your beliefs and my beliefs are my beliefs and at the end of the day all I hope is that your beliefs give you peace, happiness, and fulfillment. And anytime your beliefs go into fear, judgment, shame, all these negative emotions and negative thoughts, I don't feel like that's a very productive uh, way of being, okay? And I hope that we can agree on that. Okay, thanks for joining me, guys. Check out my other videos, other Q&As. Okay, I talk about branding, marketing. Also, on my podcast, I have some of the most amazing uh, people on my podcast, Next Gen Coaching Chronicles. Okay, be inspired in who you are, be next gen, and as always, the world needs.
Good talk. 